Hi there, sixth grade. How are you doing? Are you having super fun times at home with your family? I hope you are. I hope nobody is really getting ready to throw you out the window. Just kidding. Okay, we are going to be um, looking at counting rhythms, but now we're moving on. We have graduated up to a new different kind of time signature, which is 6-8 time. Now, if you're a sixth grader and you're in band, you know about 6-8 time, um, but don't worry if you're not in band, you're going to hopefully be able to catch on. Um, I'm going to try to make it really simple for you today. So um, let's start with um, our song, Sailor, Sailor. And as you might remember, it's sailor, sailor on the sea, sailor, sailor on the sea, sailor, sailor on the sea, what treasures have you brought for me? Okay, so as we're going to jump into it slowly, all right, um, first of all, these circles here are not eights and snowmen and zeros, they stand for um, places to put your numbers when we start counting beats. So that's what those are there for. We're going to start with talking about what 6-8 is. Whenever we're talking about time signatures, we're dealing with the top number and the bottom number, which mean two different things. And those two different things help us unlock the meaning of the song. So the first number stands for, or the one on the top, stands for the top, or the number of beats per measure. So what number do you have on the top? You have a six. So in six eight time, you have six beats per measure. I call that BPM, beats per measure. All right, so how do you know how many beats there are per measure? The top number. Now, the next issue is what type of note represents that beat? You have been seeing 4-4 four, four time, 3-4 time, 2-4 time. Everything has a 4 on the bottom, and the 4 stands for quarter note. Quarter note gets the beat. That means ta equals 1. TT equals 1 half and 1 half, and then that's 1. Um, everything is, is um, defined in relationship to what rhythm gets one beat. So if a ta or a quarter note gets one beat, then a, then a half note is always two, then an eighth note is always one half. Now we are changing what gets one. It's the eighth note. So eight stands for eighth note. And the eighth note is now the rhythm that gets one beat. So... We have to think about rhythms now uh, in relationship to whatever rhythm is worth one beat. Okay, so we start with our ta. Since the eighth note is worth one beat now, the ta is not worth one beat anymore. But the relationship between an eighth note and a quarter note is always the same. An eighth note is always half as much as a quarter note. So if an eighth note is one and it's half as much as a quarter note, then that means that the quarter note is going to be twice as much as the eighth note. So if an eighth note is one, the quarter note is now two. Okay? So here are two circles here, and that shows two beats going by. So each circle is the beat. So you see here... Ta, and then you have an eighth note, T, and that is one beat. So you have ta, T, ta, T, ta, T, and now we land on a dotted quarter note. You see three beats here for the dotted quarter note. A dotted quarter note we usually think of is one and a half. What we're talking about is three eighth notes. Okay, so we know in four four time this is a half and a half and a half and it equals one and a half. Now the eighth note is one. So that means there are three eighth notes still in a dotted quarter note, but that means that the dotted quarter note is now worth three. 
Therefore, you see three beats here. So we're going to say Tom for three beats. Tom. Okay? All right. Now, we have defined everything. A quarter note is two beats. An eighth note is one beat. And a dotted quarter note is three beats. So we're going to continue. And my pen is going to tap the beat as we go by. So you're going to say ta or t or tom. And we're going to make it last for as long as I tap. Here we go. I'll count to six to begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ta, T, ta, T, ta, T, Tom, ta, T, 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 Tom. Okay? Now, that's a very slow song. Sailor, sailor. Okay, so we're going to speed this up a little bit. We're going to say ta ti ta ti ta ti ta. Okay? Ready, go. Ta ti ta ti ta ti ta. Ta ti ta ti ta ti ta. Ta ti ta ti ta ti ta. All right, so what note equals one in six eight time? Eighth note. And how many beats per measure? Six. Let's move to counting now. Okay, again, these circles represent the beat. So we start with what number? One. And there's two beats under it. So we go one, two. Now we move to our next number. An eighth note is worth one, so we move to three. We still got to get to six. Here's two more beats, so now we proceed to four and five, and then our last beat is six. Was that easy? I hope so. All right, new measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and now let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm going to start with my parentheses. It's kind of hard to do on these circles. I'm going to put the parentheses over the two and the five because when we say ta, we don't hear ta, ah, we hear ta. So one, three, four, six, and then one, and then two, and then three, and then four, five, six. So it's going to be four. All right, let's move quickly. Ready? One, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. One, three, four. Okay. So to review, the eighth note is worth one beat. That means that a quarter note is now worth two and a dotted quarter note is now worth three. So the relationships between the notes are the same. A quarter note is always going to be the same size compared to an eighth note. It's twice as big as an eighth note. But now an eighth note is one beat. Okay, let's count this through. And we see that each number stands for one beat. Is there any and sign in here? No, because we haven't gotten to any 16th notes, which are the smaller uh, note, the smaller value note compared to the eighth note. So the eighth note is worth one. There's nothing smaller than that, no 16th notes. So we don't have to use any and signs. All right, here we go. We're going to clap this and count it. Let's do it two times. Here we go. You get your hands ready. Ready, go. One, three, four, six. One, three, four. One, three, four, six. One, three, four. One, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. One, three, four. Did you notice how I was pumping my hands for the beat? That's a good idea. Let's try it again. Ready? 
last time. Ready, go. One, three, four, six, one, three, four. One, three, four, six, one, three, four. One, three, four, six, one, three, four, six. One, three, four, six, one, three, four. Okay, you just counted six, eight time. And you also figured out how to define six, eight. So again, the top number means beats per measure, and in this case, six. The bottom number means the type of note that gets one beat. No matter what number this is, it's going to be the note that gets one beat. Good job. All right, we're going to practice this a little bit more next week. Um, you have made it very far, and you are doing great. So I look forward to seeing you soon.